Good morning. My name is Jeff Burleson, and I'm an elder at Faith Church. In the book of James, the scripture tells us to pray for one another that we may be healed, and that the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. This morning, I will be leading you in prayer for our hospice community. Please join me. Almighty Lord and Father, we thank you for your great faithfulness and your undying love for us and your righteousness, Lord. We thank you for all that you have done in this time of pandemic to help us, to unify us, to enable your church to figure out more ways to reach out through digital media. We thank you for the progress that has been made on treatments and vaccines that you've been with the researchers, enabling them to share information quickly and to make progress rapidly. And we thank you for all of these things, Lord. This morning, we also ask that you would, in particular, help our hospice workers all of those who are treating end-of-life patients in hospice care, the volunteers, the medical staff that have been affected tremendously by this pandemic. We know, Lord, that they face great challenges. In many cases, the hospice patients are at home, in their own homes, and the care has to be provided in that environment. And we know that this is not always possible to have the same level of sanitation and sterility that is available in medical facilities, and that the volunteers and nurses and medical staff face great risk in going into the homes to provide this care. And we know, Lord, that they're fearful uh, for bringing the virus home to their families Father, I just ask your protection on them. I ask that you would provide them your assurance and your protection and protect their families, Lord, and that they might do their job well and continue to do it well, despite the barriers. We know also, Lord, that the workers and the volunteers, they normally use physical touch as part of their care and hugs, and hand-holding, and reassurance. And we know that the pandemic has put a new face on all of that, Lord. And it makes it very challenging. And we know that that is disheartening. So, Father, I pray for encouragement uh, that you would uplift the spirits of those providing the care. And, Father, that you would also be with those receiving the care, Lord, as the end of their lives look very different than they would have otherwise with the caregivers now in isolation, garments and protective gear, and potentially looking more fearful than they would. Father, I just pray that you would reassure and be with all of those approaching the end of their life uh, that are suffering with this virus and, and suffering from other causes. And that during all of this, that you would just use this this time and, and these situations to draw both the patients and the workers closer to you, Lord, and that your name would be glorified as a result of all of this. We thank you, Lord, that, that you are faithful and that you do provide for us. And we ask all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. May God be with you.